My name is Leslie Linball, though in the online world I'm known as 1% Yellow. This video was created for Dr. Alec Koros's ECI831 class and reflects my attempt to become a social artist. Through this project, I hope to connect individuals from my undergraduate university, the Augustana campus of the University of Alberta, with individuals from the University of Mary Washington, who are exploring the possibilities for liberal arts education online. The point of contact between these two schools is their mutual membership in the Council of Public Liberal Arts Colleges, or COPELAC. It's time for Episode 7, and in this we come to the last of the University of Mary Washington's five values of a liberal arts education. And the last word is interactivity. Yeah, <laughs> interactivity. Oh, man. Oh, actually, that's, that's yeah, okay, that's a good word, actually. Um, because, and the reason I like it is because of the inter part, right? The interactivity. You know, one of the questions that I've been pondering for the last decade is why do we need a place? You know, why, why does university have to happen at a place? Is there still a reason for that? And even though I'm still very, I'm, I'm very interested in online learning without some sort of interaction, actually a lot of interaction, regular interaction between, between students and students and between students and the instructor, um, you're really not getting what we think of as a university education, at least not a quality university education. I think it goes um, in three directions. I think it goes between um, the students and myself, uh, of course, um, uh, but on, on both sides. Um, I interact as well, right? I also get something uh, out of this uh, relationship with, with students. Um, I like to read what students have to say on, on their essays. Um, but it also has to, to take place b between students, uh, to encourage uh, uh, interactions, um, to, uh, to get them to review each other's papers, for instance or uh, to present certain parts of the course by themselves. Uh. The important significance of interactions, uh, interactions between faculty members so that I know what the math people are doing, uh, that I know what the chemistry people are doing. So I have interactions with um, my colleagues from very different disciplinary backgrounds. All of those kinds of interactions uh, within the campus community. And I think that's actually true even in the sciences where we often think, and we, I mean, I've been calling it an object as well, but the object interacts with you as well, um, so that you respond to it. Even if it, the, the, the form the interaction takes with another subject or with the object is that it becomes it's, um, resistant. Because then you have to, well, that's an interaction too, so then you have to go back and say, okay, this isn't working. How can I get through? I think interactions are, are never passive. Um, and if they are, then you have a problem with it. One, uh, one person's degree is not theirs in that, that it's just what they've done and their learning it comes from the interaction with other people. So the more you can be challenged and made to reflect, the stronger your learning will be and the more meaningful it will be. In the context of a liberal, liberal arts campus or, or institution, um, you have to have interactions between the, the different uh, people in the university but also with the rest of the, of the community. Given my predilections in service and other forms of experiential learning, the, sort of beyond the ivory tower and uh, interactions with um, the actual stuff we're studying. For Sarah Ross, this has several meanings. Interactivity includes face-to-face -face learning and interacting with the text, but also undertaking research and incorporating insights from various disciplines. Any community has to have interactions. It can't just go in one direction. Um, and hopefully it's a kind of interaction that goes beyond uh, authority. So, I, in other words, I can't really take myself out of the education, I can't really take myself out of, out of the teaching, just to be objective in a more traditional manner, um, if I want there to be interactions. I have to be present. Taking consciousness about what we do, taking consciousness meaning being awake, of course, in that waking up, we, we, we will be more and more interested in an action or, or correspond with others. We get out of ourselves. Somehow or other, too much of our learning takes place in our head, not doing anything with other people or other parts of the, our communities. Interactivity is it's a way that you live out your values, it's the way you present to the community around you. It's not just an intellectual exercise.
it's being it's being humans with each other. That sort of thing is often not in the curriculum. And so if you're just testing content, you may miss it. That's why reflection is also important. Those are the moments as a, as a teacher where you're like, yes, you've got it. <laughs> This value in some ways sort of encompasses all of them that, you know, communities are bred through interactivity when um, if students are really participating in self-directed learning, then you should begin to see interplay and interactivity and that the faculty member needs um, to sort of create an environment where uh, interplay among the different voices in the class is not only expected, but is natural. Interactivity in the face-to-face -face classroom seems it isn't even something we think about. It's just face-to-face -face interaction. You know, I talk, you talk, we talk. Once you move into um, kind of the disembodied realm, um, suddenly it feels like you have to be much more um, sort of deliberate about making that interaction happen. DS106 became an awesome model to say, oh, wait, we can not only interact with text and blogs, but we can interact with radio, with video. And there's other ways of interacting. Um, and I thought that would be a really good kind of model to bring to um, the online experiment, the online, open, online learning initiatives. Interactivity is a chance for us to connect all of the University of Mary Washington's five values. Community, active learning, self-directed learning, and reflection. But it's not enough to simply design opportunities for interaction to take place between faculty, students, the community, and various disciplines. This interaction must be grounded in a push towards authenticity. This value reminds us that our educational endeavors should be, as Doc Larson puts it, a way to be human with each other. And this leads us to an important question about digital education. Can we produce that kind of authentic interaction in the online world? So let's move on to talk about some of people's first impressions about the possibilities for liberal arts in the online space.